Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Nay, and we are back at it again with another Halloween tutorial. So if you want to see how I got this Yarona-inspired makeup look, then just go ahead and keep on watching. So to start out, I am using this really random Urban Decay palette in the shade Fa Fishnet, actually, and I'm going to put that in my crease above whatever makeup I already have and layering that down the bridge of my nose as well. Now using the Morphe 12P palette, I'm taking that purple shade and layering that in my crease below the fishnet shade on both sides. Now I'm going in with this Juvia's Place palette and taking that purple shade below both of those other shades and blending that in my crease on both sides and I also took that down the bridge of my nose. Now using this Maybelline Master Smoky Eye Pencil, I went ahead and primed for this black shadow that I'm using from that Morphe 12P palette and I'm literally just packing that on my eyeballs. Now taking a contour brush, I'm taking that purple shade from the Morphe 12P palette and I went ahead and contoured both of my my cheekbones and you know you cannot forget your forehead so I went ahead and contoured my forehead as well and then you're not gonna believe it I did the same exact thing with that shade that we used from the Juvia's Place palette and placed that in the same exact spots except a little bit lower and then using a different brush, I went in with that black shade and placed that below both of those previous colors so that way we got a nice gradient there and you know, like I said, we cannot forget our forehead so I'm shading the temples because I think that that really ties the entire look together. So there we are, you know, finishing shading in because that really takes the look to a whole nother level. And I'm setting my under eyes with some translucent powder and brushing that baby off. Using some water activated paint, I am literally just making squiggly lines back and forth and kind of mapping out or outlining where I want my mouth to be. So that's what I did. And then I made some smaller, tighter lines to, you know, give it some depth there. And I went ahead and did that all the way across my mouth. And to take the look to another level, I went ahead and made this creepy little clown smile, and I really liked that. So, now I am just mapping out where I want my tears to go, so I'm just marking that with some water-activated paint. And taking a little bit more water on my brush, I just went ahead and pressed that down into my skin so that way it could get that drip tear-like effect that we are going for. Now, to add some detail, I went ahead and put some little dots down the bridge of my nose. I really liked how this turned out. I also put it a little bit higher towards my brow bone. And then I decided I wanted to add a little scratch, so to do that I'm literally just making lines back and forth and then in the opposite direction. Now I am making those little dots again on my temple, you know, we gotta tie the look together, we really do. Make it all seamless. So now I am using this jewel that I got from Michaels and I'm just placing that in the center of my forehead and you know adding another scratch because like I said we gotta tie that look together. So I am taking some jewels that I also got at Michaels and placing that over the dots that are on the sides of my temples there. Now I am making another tear using some extra water on my brush and this tear is going to be a little bit bigger than the last one so I added a little bit more water so that we, we get that dramatic effect. 
Now I am painting my neck. Well, I painted my neck black. And now we are going to, you know, add some more detail by making smaller little strokes along the little, you know, our neck collar, I would say, and painting it black for added opacity. So that way it looks nice and mysterious or dark, I guess. And so now we are adding some scratches to our shoulders because, you know, tie the look together and can't forget to paint your hands black. Well, that is the completed look, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed this Yarona inspired makeup look. Please drop a comment down below. Let me know what kind of looks you guys want to see. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any videos. Peace and love to you always and I will see you in the next video. See you later alligator. Bye!